If you've been wondering how you can start dropshipping with Walmart as your supplier, then this video is for you. A lot of the times when a customer sees either a deep discount or an exclusive deal, they're a lot more likely to make a purchase. It's a lot harder to do that with certain suppliers, but Walmart actually makes that a lot easier for us to be able to start making a little bit of extra profit with their exclusive deals. Now, when you're working with deals like these, there's a few ways to be able to make it work in your favor. You can either pass on these deals to your customers and give them a little break on their price, or you sell them their products at the regular price, and then you source your products with the discounts, giving you a little bit extra profits. So if you're ready to start making some extra profits using Walmart as your dropshipping supplier, then stay tuned. Let's run that intro and let's go started. What's going on everyone? My name is Mario with AutoDS and if you like informative videos on the dropshipping business and how to be able to start or scale yours, make sure to hit that subscribe button and leave a like. Our goal here at AutoDS is always to help you succeed. So let's get started. So what exactly is Walmart dropshipping and how does it work? Well, for the most part, it's pretty much the same thing as using almost any other supplier. A customer is going to find their way into your store they're gonna find an item that they like, they're gonna place that order, and you're gonna fulfill it. But instead of you fulfilling it, what's gonna end up happening is you're gonna end up placing the order with Walmart, then Walmart's gonna send it over to them directly. All you have to do is update them with the tracking information and collect your profits. So let's quickly take, for example, a chair that I'm selling on my e-commerce store for $150. A customer's gonna to come to my store, they're gonna see that chair, they're gonna like it, and they're gonna to add to cart and purchase. Once it's purchased, I get those $150. With those $150, I'm gonna go over to Walmart's website and place the order for the same exact chair. And instead of having it shipped directly to me, I'm gonna have it shipped directly to the customer. The only difference is instead of paying $150, I paid $100. Once that order ships, I'm gonna take the tracking information from Walmart, update my customer with it, let them know that it's been shipped and it's on their way to them. And I'm gonna collect my profits of $50. Now, as we all know, dropshipping is an order fulfillment business model, which pretty much just means that we don't carry any of our items. We don't carry any products or any stock. Our suppliers do all that stuff for us. All we have to do is place the order with the suppliers and fulfill the order. That's really all there is to it. And that's why it's extremely important and crucial that we partner up with the right suppliers. We don't wanna partner up with a supplier that's gonna completely forget about our order and either ship it really late, never answer back to our messages, or have some super long shipping times. And that's actually what makes Walmart a great place to be able to drop ship from. They have great customer service, fast shipping times, local warehouses, and best of all, exclusive deals. Now that leads me to a question that I've seen thrown around quite a bit, and that's, is dropshipping from Walmart legal? And the answer to that is 100% yes. Dropshipping from Walmart is 100% legal and safe to do. Now, with that being said, there are a few items that you want to avoid dropshipping from Walmart. In particular, things like featured brands and already established brands like Apple, Microsoft, and a few others. Selling established brands like that can potentially land you in some legal trouble and possibly even get your dropshipping store suspended. Now, alongside those, these are a few other items that you want to avoid selling in your dropshipping store. Some of them being groceries, because imagine dropshipping groceries, you send those to somebody's house and they get there a week later all spoiled. Ew. You want to avoid certain electronics like TVs, computers, cell phones. Speaking about cell phones, you also wanna stay away from selling cell phone plans. These are all items that can give you potential headaches or even worse, legal troubles down the road. So it's best to try to avoid these. Now, this was just a quick list of items that you wanna be avoiding. If you want a bit more detail into more of these items or some other products that you shouldn't be selling on your dropshipping store, then check out the description down below. There's gonna be a link to the Vero Guide there. The Vero Guide helps you avoid copyright infringement in your dropshipping store. So that's definitely worth a read. Now, dropshipping with Walmart can have its advantages as well as its disadvantages. Some of those disadvantages can include the fact that it's actually only limited to the US market. Now, me personally, I don't really see that as much of a problem because when you really think about it, the US has over 331 million people in it. And that's a lot of traffic for your store. So you definitely have enough people to be able to sell to in the US. On top of that, Walmart has local warehouses in the US. So shipping is quick. A lot of times it's either next day or two day shipping. Another thing that sometimes is seen as a potential disadvantage to using Walmart as a dropshipping supplier is their selected payment methods. But that's really not too much to worry about because ultimately they take all the major credit cards, including PayPal. Now, one of the biggest advantages to using Walmart as your dropshipping supplier is the fact that they have a price match guarantee. If you find the same exact item at let's say another store Best Buy for $25 and then Walmart is selling it for 35, you can tell Walmart that you found it at a competitor for cheaper 
and they'll match that price. Therefore, you can be increasing either your profits or passing on the savings to your customer. Now, what about items that need to be returned? Well, when it comes to drop shipping, your return policy ultimately is gonna end up matching your supplier's return policy. Luckily with Walmart, you have up to 90 days to be able to return any item. Those items you can either return by mail or even drop them off in store. Now, on the other hand, when it comes to shipping, Walmart does offer standard next day delivery. Now, the only thing about that is in order to qualify for free shipping, your order does need to be over $35. If it's under $35, then you are gonna be paying a shipping fee of about $6.99. Aside from that, you are able to expedite your packages using express shipping, for an extra fee of about $10. But if you are a Walmart Plus member, then you get total free shipping on all your orders. Now, when it comes to our e-commerce business, we all know that shipping is absolutely crucial, but so is tracking. From personal experience, I know for a fact that Tracking numbers are absolutely crucial because everyone likes to keep track of where their items are. Everyone likes to be kept in the loop as to where their package is pretty much every step of the way. Now that brings us to a very interesting part of Walmart dropshipping. And that's the fact that you can use it with Aqualine tracking conversions. Simply put, what this means is just that you can convert almost any tracking number to an Aqualine tracking number. So whether you're using USPS, FedEx, UPS, or any others, you're able to convert those tracking numbers to Aqualine tracking numbers. So that way it doesn't matter what shipping service you use, all of your customers are gonna have one website where they can go track all of their orders. Another cool feature in Aqualine tracking is the fact that it has the zip code masquerade feature. What this does is provide tracking details of the orders with exact zip codes. This helps you adhere to things like eBay's location policy when you're using a platform like eBay as your selling channel. Now that we know what makes Walmart such a great dropshipping supplier, let's go ahead and get started with dropshipping some of their items. Remember that if you want any information on anything that I'm covering in this video, check out the description down below. I'm gonna have a link to the article down there. Also, if you want a more straightforward cheat sheet with all the items that I'm detailing in this video, comment the word hashtag Walmart dropshipping down in the comments below along with your takeaway from the video and I'll leave you a link to it. All right, let's get started with actually drop shipping our products from Walmart. The first thing that we need to do is find winning products. Walmart has an insane amount of products on their website, so finding the right ones to be able to sell on our drop shipping store successfully can be a bit of a challenge, but there's a few ways to really make that easier. For one, we can start using the AutoDS product research tool, more specifically, the winning products section in the AutoDS dashboard. Once you click on over to the winning products tab, you're gonna see a ton of different items that are all guaranteed best sellers. Now, while a lot of these do have AliExpress on them, you can find similar items on Walmart. So you can really use this as a nice guide to start finding some best sellers on the Walmart website. Another great way to find winning products is just go on over to the Walmart website itself and start looking around. Go to their clearance section, check out things like their flash picks of the day. You can scroll down and look at their top picks. You can also see what's popular for the particular season that you're gonna be selling in. There's a lot of different ways that you can find products on the Walmart website. Aside from that, you can also head on over to our website over at autods.com and we have an entire section dedicated to blogs that can help you locate the right products that are right for you. On top of that, you also have the Sell These Now playlist on our YouTube channel. Now that playlist is full of the hottest products, niches, and strategies to be able to use to keep scaling your business. So just a few quick examples as to what a trending product can look like. You can have things like a fire pit for the outside when it's cold, some slippers, gel glitter pens, which have been making a comeback lately, remote controlled fans, or a basketball hoop set. Now that we know the items that we wanna be selling, the next step is to find out what channel we wanna be selling on. Specifically, I'm talking about things like eBay, Facebook Marketplace, your own store on Shopify, Wix, or WooCommerce. Now, before we make a decision on that, it's important to know the difference between the selling channels. You have a marketplace and you also have your own website. The difference is a marketplace can be something like eBay, Facebook shops, or Facebook marketplace. Pretty much what you're doing here is you're just listing your item on their platform. Once it's listed, it's ready to sell. You don't really have to do much more. For the most part, they're gonna be the ones that bring the traffic to your store. Now, if you're using your own website, that's a different story. In this case, you're gonna be listing your items on your own website, not on somebody else's platform. Here, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to find a way to bring in the traffic yourself. So you're gonna have to be using things like Facebook ads, TikTok, Instagram ads. You're gonna have to start finding different ways to be able to start bringing people to your website. When it comes to using your website as your selling channel, you're gonna be using either Wix, WooCommerce, or Shopify. Okay, so we've chosen the products that we wanna sell, as well as chosen the platform that we wanna be selling on. Now we need to import the products from Walmart onto our selling channel. 
Now, when it comes to importing these products into our store from Walmart, there's a few different ways we can do this. The first way being the manual way. Manually importing our products to our store will require us to go to the products page on their supplier's website, in this case being Walmart, saving all of the images that we need, copying over the title, the description, any information that we need from the product itself, figuring out all the shipping information, and then manually adding that to our dropshipping store. That can take a lot of time. Instead, we can easily be using our product import tool over at autods.com to easily import all of the products and the details as well as images for us. Our manual import tools really take all of the headache and work out of the actual process of importing your products. So that way you can get some time back to yourself to either reinvest into your business or just spend some extra time with the family. If we're gonna be importing multiple products into our store, Using something like our bulk importing tool is gonna to make things a lot easier and it's just gonna streamline the entire process for you. Really quick, let's take a look at how the bulk importing works and how it can benefit you. So the first thing that I wanna do is add the AutoDS Chrome extension. For that, it's super simple. All you have to do is go to the Chrome Web Store and click on Add to Chrome. In this case, it's already added, so it's just giving me the option to remove, but you get the idea. So I looked through some home goods items and I found out what I wanna add to my dropshipping store. In particular, we're gonna be adding this Mott Broom Holder, this Outdoor Patio Round Fitted Tablecloth, this Majestic Home Goods Vertical Stripe Indoor Outdoor Fabric Cube Poof, these Home Good Tank Jar Three Piece Sealed Household Transparent Grains Kitchen Snack Storage Housekeeping and Organizers Home Decor. These titles are absolutely horrible. And the Majestic Home Goods Indoor Outdoor Red Plantation Reading Pillow with Arms Backrest Back Support for Sitting 33 Inches Length Whatever. Don't worry about these titles. We're totally going to fix these in a couple of steps. So stick with me. So the first thing that we're going to do is once we have our extension installed, you're going to see this little Auto DS button on the bottom right. Go ahead and click that and you're going to click on extract. You're going to see this number that pops up in there. That's the item number for the product that you have in your window. Now, once you have that done, go on over to the next product and do the same thing. If it's not showing up, it's because I opened it in a different tab. All we have to do is give it a quick refresh and then you're gonna see the item number on there as well. So let's click extract as well. You we got the second item number. Let's do the same thing for the following ones. So here we're gonna extract that one. That's four. And our fifth product is gonna be this one. All right, so we have five products total that we wanna to add to our dropshipping store. Next up, what we're gonna do is go on over to the button that says export as CSV. Once you click that, you're gonna automatically download a CSV file with all the product information. Now we're gonna go over to our AutoDS dashboard and we're just gonna choose a store that we wanna add it to. In this case, I'm gonna add it to just a regular Shopify store. Once we have our store selected, let's just go ahead and click on add products. There you're gonna see all the different options for our importing tools. You're gonna to have the single product import, the multiple product or stores, the AutoDS Finder, and the untracked products. From here, we're gonna go ahead and choose multiple products and stores, and you're gonna have the option to either add multiple URLs or product IDs. You can upload the CSV file that we just created and downloaded, which we'll do in a second, or you can go to the AutoDS Finder and just automatically import product. So for this, we're just gonna go to upload CSV and we're gonna drag and drop our CSV file. After that, we're gonna click on add as draft. And on the bottom right, you're gonna notice that it says that the items are being added to your drafts. If we wanna take a look at the status of the items that are being uploaded, all we have to do is click on the draft tab on the left side. And on the top, you're gonna to see the progress bar for the items that are currently being uploaded from the CSV file that you just generated from Walmart. Once all the items are finished uploading, then you're gonna see all of the drafts here. Remember how when I was reading the product titles, I mentioned that they were absolutely horrendous? Yeah, we don't wanna keep those product titles. So this is the perfect time to be able to optimize all of our descriptions, titles, and whatever else needs to be optimized. So from here, we can go ahead and edit the title for the tablecloth. If you hover over here, you're gonna notice that it says click to edit, click on that, and you're gonna get all of the options that you're able to customize and optimize. Here you can change the title, you can add it to a collection, you can give it any tags that you need. Here we can start optimizing all of our information, all the titles, and make it more aesthetically pleasing. Make it more visually appealing to the eye because the way it was written on the Walmart website, it was horrible to read, it was hard to understand, it, it just wasn't good. So on this page, we can go ahead and change the title to whatever we need it to be. We can add it to any collections we'd like to add it to. We can change the shipping method that we want. So we can choose the cheapest method of shipping. Now, typically when you choose the cheapest method, you're not gonna get a tracking number, at least when you're using different suppliers. Walmart, it's a different story, but typically what I go with is cheapest with tracking so that way we can ensure that we're gonna get a tracking number. 
So you have the cheapest with tracking number and you have the fastest with tracking, which will be a couple bucks extra. Aside from that, you have the location of where the item's gonna be shipping from, the brand of the item, and a few monitoring options. Click on over to the next tab, you have the description. Here you can go ahead and edit product description and optimize the entire description and make it easier to read and a lot friendlier to look at. Aside from that, we also have the variants. You can go ahead and choose all the different variants that you're gonna be offering in your store, the different images you're gonna be showing, and the item specifications. Once you're ready to have this product live on your store, all you have to do is click save and import and you're done. Within a few minutes, your new product with optimized titles and descriptions is gonna be live on your website for people to buy. Also take note that when you are optimizing your titles and descriptions, it's not just for the viewer and the reader that's on the other side of the screen. You're also doing it so you can rank higher on search engines such as Google. So because of that, you always wanna make sure you implement the best SEO or search engine optimization strategies to be able to keep ranking higher above your competition. So our products are now live on our store, but there's nobody going there. That's because nobody knows that the products are there ready to be purchased. So the next thing we have to do is get our products in front of the eyes of the right customers so that way they can head on over to the website, make a click and make a purchase. Now, before we get started with marketing our stores, there's one really important thing to note, and that's that the way that you market your store is not gonna be the same across all selling channels. So the way you're gonna promote or market your Shopify website is not necessarily gonna be the same that you're gonna be doing for your eBay store. For example, with your own website that's being hosted on either Shopify, Wix, or WooCommerce, you're gonna be using something like influencer marketing, pay-per-click ads, blogs, or email marketing. If you're selling on the Facebook Marketplace, you have the options to do Facebook promotions, or you can also sell on Facebook buy and sell groups. And if we're talking about eBay, you have things like the promoted listings, standard and advanced. You also have the options for coupons, volume pricing, and sale events. Also remember that these marketing strategies do require a bit of a budget. So always just try to have a marketing budget available to be able to promote your listings. Okay, so my website is up. It's full of best sellers. My Facebook ads are running. Now I just need to wait for, yes, I just got a sale. How do I fulfill it now? It's a known fact that fulfilling your order on time is absolutely crucial. People don't like waiting for their items or for their items to ship. So the faster that you can fulfill your item, the higher the chances are that your customer is gonna be happy and return for a second purchase. Now to fulfill our orders, we have a few different options. We have the ability to manually fulfill our orders where you're gonna to go to your supplier's website directly, place the order with them, use your credit card and have them ship the item directly to your customer. And then you're gonna be updating your customer with the tracking information. Now that's perfectly fine when you have a small amount of orders or a handful of orders. When you really start getting the big bulk orders, that's when it can start to get very time consuming. In which case you can automate the entire process by either using automatic orders or fulfilled by AutoDS. So if you're using our automatic orders feature, then what's gonna end up happening once a customer places an order on your store is AutoDS is gonna log in to your supplier's website using your credentials and your buyer account, and it's gonna make the purchase on your behalf and have it shipped to your customer. You'll also be provided with real-time tracking updates under the AutoDS dashboard, and those tracking details can also be accessible to your customer, so that way they can know where their packages are. Now, the other option for automatic order fulfillment that you have is fulfilled by AutoDS. In this case, the difference between the automatic order fulfillment is using Fulfilled by AutoDS, you're gonna be loading a balance onto your AutoDS account. When a customer places an order on your store, instead of AutoDS going on over to your buyer account and signing onto your supplier's website and making the purchase that way, it's gonna take the balance that's loaded onto your AutoDS account and it's gonna make the purchase with the suppliers using the AutoDS accounts. So you're not gonna to have to worry about using your buyer accounts or maxing out your credit cards you're gonna have a preset balance to use for your orders. Fulfilled by AutoDS also has a super easy to use one click return button. So returns are a breeze. On top of that, using this fulfillment service, you're actually gonna be getting an extra 2% cash back on orders specifically from Walmart. Now that the order has shipped out from the supplier, in this case Walmart, to your customer, don't think that you're done just yet. There's still a few extra things that you gotta to do to make sure that your customer is 100% happy and comes back for more. For one, you gotta be providing excellent customer service and excellent post-sale service. As a dropshipper, most of the time, our customer service is really gonna depend on the customer service of our suppliers. So luckily for us, Walmart, when it comes to the customer service, is absolutely superb. They have amazing customer service, so that's one thing that Luckily, you're not really gonna have to worry about too much, but always, whenever a customer has any inquiries, any questions, they send you an email or message, always try to reply to them in a prompt manner. Happier customers tend to come back to our stores and make more purchases, so the better customer service that you have, the more likely you are to be making some extra profits. Now you saw just how much time you can save by automating your product import process. Good thing is, is that's not the only thing you can automate. 
you can automate pretty much the entire process of your whole store. We have some very handy features over at AutoDS that can really simplify and streamline your entire dropshipping process. For one, we have price and stock monitoring. So we're always gonna be keeping track of your supplier's stocks and their prices. So if it fluctuates, you're gonna know. Another awesome feature that there is, is the price optimization feature. Personally, I think this is a fantastic feature to have because depending on how well or how bad a product is selling, the price is gonna be optimized. If a product is selling super well, then the system's gonna automatically increase the price a little bit to be able to start making some more profits. Now on the end, vice versa, if the product isn't selling too well, then it's gonna lower the price a little bit to see if we can start getting some more sales in. We also offer automatic tracking updates. This is a fantastic feature to have in my opinion because it completely takes out the entire responsibility of you having to update your customer with their tracking numbers. And as we all know, customers always want their tracking numbers. So the moment that your supplier sends out the item and provides you with a tracking number, AutoDS will automatically take that and update your customer with it. You also have an advanced image editor to optimize your images and resize them. And you also have a one screen inventory management where you can manage all of your inventory from just one screen. There's a lot more features in our AutoDS platform. So if you wanna learn a bit more about that, make sure to check out the description down below. We're gonna have a link to everything down there. These are all tools that can really help start scaling your business to be able to start making some more profits. This was your step-by-step -step guide on how to start dropshipping from Walmart. Remember that if you want your streamlined how to get started dropshipping from Walmart cheat sheet, comment down below, hashtag, Walmart dropshipping, and we'll leave you a link to it. Also, if you found this video helpful and informative, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as click that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future dropshipping videos. Once again, my name is Mario with AutoDS. I look forward to seeing you all in the next video and wish you all nothing but success in your dropshipping businesses. Till next time.